The prospects for industry spawned by the mines of Virginia City, Nevada in the 1860s and 70s led to the development of the Virginia and Truckee Railroad. In January 1872, the VNT placed an order with Baldwin Locomotive Works for an American Standard type steam locomotive that came to be known as the Reno with road number 11. The Reno shares many similarities with Virginia and Truckee's locomotive number 12, the Genoa, and is also a close contemporary of the railroad's number 22, the Inyo. Faded photographs depict similarly elegant steam locomotives of this era on the railroads across America, but the Virginia and Truckee was rare in the way it kept aging 440 steamers long after they had been surpassed by larger and newer motive power. In the 1930s, Hollywood looked for ways to evoke images of the Old West, and stories of vintage steam engines and passenger cars kept in Carson City, Nevada prompted a new rush to the area for precious metals, the precious iron horses of the Virginia and Truckee. From 1937 to 1945, the Reno spent some time on movies, including a lease to Paramount Pictures. In March 1945, the Reno was sold to Lowe's, later MGM, for $4,500. Film appearances were interrupted in 1969 for a centennial stint representing the Union Pacific's locomotive for Golden Spike commemorations. The following year saw the Reno sold at auction to Old Tucson Studios, where the classic V&T locomotive was a fixture, both live and assisted by compressed air, for decades. It is estimated the Reno appeared in more than 80 movies, television programs, and commercials since the 1930s. Enthusiasts lamented a general decline in the appearance of the once-elegant brass-ornamented Reno and the purchase in 2021 of the relic by the Virginia and Truckee Railroad of Virginia City was hailed as the beginning of a new era for this classic steam engine. The railroad plans to restore the Reno to operating condition and donations are welcomed to assist with that ambitious undertaking. Hi, I'm Taylor McCready and I'm with the Reno crew. Anyways, in 1995, a fire swept through old Tucson studios, destroying many historical movie buildings and unfortunately heavily damaging the arena. All original wood was burnt off the locomotive, including the beautiful walnut cab. Now, if you notice, the tender is not with the locomotive at the event right now. It's being restored up in Virginia City as we speak. See, the tender, its frame was made of wood, and unfortunately in the 1995 fire, all that wood burnt up. And as a temporary measure by the movie company, it took two inch square tubing and welded up a temporary frame. While Tom Gray's been doing an amazing job with brand new timbers rebuilding that whole frame. I wish I brought a photo to show you, but those timbers are massive and they're just this beautiful cut wood. Just the new side sills, new end sills. It's going to look very beautiful once done. We're also taking the time to take out dents inside the tender tank caused by the uh, conversion to air when they put air tanks in the tender. Now on uh, August 2021, on Robert C. Gray's 100th birthday, Tom signed the paperwork officially becoming the owner of the Reno. And there in preparation, I was sent out to find and document and locate where a lot of these parts were. Now, originally the oil burning to the cap stack here was in a pile along with the original branch pipes, just about 250 feet from Gates Pass Roads. And the kind folks at Old Tucson Studios were kind enough to pick those up and put on a pallet for us and put it in a warehouse for pickup when we started moving everything. The material of this uh, bow number plate is made out of plastic, a, a material known as PETG. It's sun resistant, doesn't melt or warp in the sun, and it's very resilient stuff and machinable too. Now when the Reno boiler finally expired, Old Tucson still wanted to use the locomotive as a, as a prop for film, decided to run the locomotive off compressed air. To facilitate that, initially a rectangular hole was cut inside the smoke box, and an airline ran down the side of the locomotive through there, where through a homemade manifold, they provided air to the pistons on the locomotive. Now, as you can see, we have welded that up. It's one of the many small things that we're going to be fixing on this locomotive. Now, if you want to be a part of helping us restore the Reno to her former glory, check out our website at seethereno.com. And, and also, become a Patreon. See our Patreon, Save the Reno, and you can pledge a, dollar, a monthly dollar amount to help us with the restoration.